Hello, thank you for joining me for the Gospel about John the Baptist and my reflection on that reading. This is for August 29th in the Catholic Lectionary. The Gospel according to St. Mark. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias wanted him killed, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. <clears throat> Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oath and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. Whenever someone tells us the truth, that something we are doing is wrong, and we know that it is wrong, but we want to continue it. We want that person to shut up about it. That is the position Herodias was in. She knew that it was wrong that she left her husband, Herod's brother, Philip, and married Herod. Apparently, John the Baptist just would not shut up about it. To shut him up permanently, she tricked Herod into having him killed. Mark's Gospel says that Herod liked listening to John the Baptist, even though it appears that he spoke the truth to Herod about his sins. John's main message in preaching was to repent for the forgiveness of your sins. Repentance involves sorrow for your sins, trying to correct any harm your sins have caused, and committing yourself to doing what is right from here on out. For Herod, Part of his repentance would require him to give up Herodias as his wife, since by Jewish law, and Herod was part Jewish, she was still married to his brother. If Herod did that, he would still be king and have his kingdom, but Herodias would lose all her power and money. So you see why she wanted him killed. Generally, we all know the truth about what is right and wrong, and most of the time, we know what the truth requires us to do. For instance, we all know that human life begins at conception, and that this truth requires us to protect and nurture that life. Like Herodias, we sometimes try to find ways to avoid repentance because we want to continue doing 
what we know is wrong. Even Herod, as wicked as he was, accepted the truth that John the Baptist was righteous and holy. We can either choose to follow the example of John the Baptist or Herodias. Let us make the righteous and holy choice. Amen.